Hãy đến ngay với chúng tôi này Five Star English Cùng vào lớp Anh ngữ năm sao này We got what you need uh, Welcome to the news The first thing that we are gonna going to talk about is uh, crime and criminal uh, As we know, crime is unquestionably one of the most prevailing and worried issues uh, of any society Even when reducing a large number of crimes due to the social distancing, COVID-19, uh, some criminals do different things to commit crimes much more diversified. Uh, yesterday, a 60-year-old who hacked into 444 school study website was sentenced uh, to three days detention. The attack went down in country history because it was the first time a high school student attacked to the local government, government organization system. The youngster performed a, a denial of system or expert called DDoS attack on the Osaka Education Council Service System involving uh, 444 websites of schools located on this service system, including kindergarten, secondary school, high schools or even uh, university to be suspended and inaccessible. The teenager hacker was accused of attacking the local education council server system by downloading a soft software tool then using it to send a large amount of data to the system. The server system was overloaded and inaccessible for a while. Police Guardians really swift and quickly found the young offender. According to the local police, the major reason for the cyber attack was because the young man felt dis dissatisfied with his teacher and the learning environment where he was attending. He said that he hated the way teacher talked to students and never let students show themselves. Therefore, uh, he wanted to remind them uh, of their incompetence. It was good to see them in trouble. I have done this many times, he admitted. The 16-year-old uh, seems not aware of how serious the consequence of his cyber attack was. After arresting the boy, the local police uh, confiscated his computer and many hacking instructions at his home. Judge uh, Frank Capio described him as a young tearaway and sent him to three days at detention center. It was a major crime, but overall, uh, he was just 16 years old. As you know, higher education. As you know, higher education in Vietnam we consists of university, senior college, or institute. It is a step forward to finding a job. It requires multiple criteria mostly depending on how high your entrance exam score is or how you manage to serve to that exam in a scientific way. However, if you are new to the studying field, you should be aware of those possible graces you will face and handle. So, there are three common issues that Vietnamese higher education is facing. So, the first both belong to audited curricula. Currently, the university you are at may have an indecent method of teaching and learning, which only centers on the theory and results in a lack of linkage between teaching, research activities, and practical applications, which ends up with many graduates' inability to find a job. So, the second spot belongs to students' consciousness. Despite being taught a lot, Vietnamese students still have a lack of experiences, possibly due to this specific reason. So, the first reason is about pessimism. Usually, students think that the lesson has already been, already been done, and they start studying cursorily and don't know the importance to memorize of memorizing lessons. lessons. 
That's why most students are unable to get a degree and are unemployed. The second reason is about people's laziness. It's when students think that they are good enough to start, it, start up information into their brains so they don't need to learn it again. But when it comes to doing exams, they will feel past those when they realize that they have forgotten everything in mind. About peer pressures, parents' ambition is also one of the reasons. They are craving their children to at least get a certain university degree to get a well-paid job. This makes them even more stressed and anxious and makes them feel like they have to not disappoint their parents. Eventually, they don't feel like studying anymore. So the last boss belongs to debating trouble. So, almost all the lectures teachers teach are teachers oriented and in interactive activities are likely to be uncommon. So, students are partially attentive to the lessons. In other, in other countries, those are the core of studying which, which make the lectures more enjoyable so it might be a long merry go round right for Vietnamese higher education to not include that in studying skills. In conclusion, these issues need to be solved immediately so that they will happen again to the young generations, younger generations. All we need to do is wait for the government's reaction and find some possible ways to reform this kind of education. So uh, <coughs> the last thing that we are going to talk about it <coughs> is also related to uh, crime and stuff. But this often happens more in um, like in the uh, more outdoor world. So. It's like um, this um, like society of uh, society's vice, and uh, what was specific more specifically? I mean here like um, of um, people who um, who um, have like other people owing them like a uh, large lots of money, and they hire like they hire um, gang or services to um, have the, those money back to them. And the reason why this is serious is that is because uh, often those uh, those group will uh, force the um, the uh, owner uh, to uh, get the money back throughout the like, violence. And especially recent recently, there were some people killed um, um, due to the, these type of services. So, mm, but. There is still one thing that surprised us, is that uh, this problem was discussed before in the court, but um, they but they decided not to ban it, be because of um, a uncivil reason. Uh, they need to reduce the um, demand first, as because uh, if we don't reduce the demand. Like uh, like we do in uh, the drug wars, we just ban drugs, but we don't reduce the amount of the drugs needed uh, for our people to use. So that's why they just become more expensive, but they don't disappear. Same, so um, the court they also think the same ways will go with the um, with these problems that um, it. But they that they won't like they won't um, uh, giving other people money like um like they won't let them uh, like owing them money like legally like not at the bank or not at somewhere like legal but they just do it secretly but and like the service the service is still available so instead of, so instead of banning it they they was set up rules to um, like control it so that it will be there will be no violence uh, allowed in those cyber services but 
more like stuff like legal documents and others. So uh, that's it for the news. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye. Five star, five star, five star English. Five star, five star. Five Star English, một công ty thuộc tập đoàn giáo dục Atlantic.